London is Simon Rothwell, marketing manager for Neopost, a company that specialises in supplying mailroom equipment. Uh, Mr Rothwell, thanks very much for being with us this afternoon. And uh, I gather that you can actually demonstrate for us how the mail can be screened. Yes, that's correct. Um, basically with uh, mail security, it seems that everybody uh, is a potential uh, target. Uh, we've not only got employees who are a little disgruntled, but members of the public or, or ex-employees uh, ex as well. Um, the fact is now that the, what's happening is obviously there's a, a duty of care um, upon organisations to protect their staff under health and safety uh, legislation. Um, and when we actually consider things, we look that people invest a great deal of money in CCTV, in fencing, um, and checking visitors that, that actually come to an organisation. But what's not happening is that mail is being screened. So what's happening is small parcels are travelling to the heart of an organisation um, without being checked at all. Um, now, what we've got here is a, a small device that, uh, that Neopost produce. Uh, and from as little as £2 a day, people can actually protect their employees. Um, and what I can do here is just show you that, if you'd like me to run through how the machine works. That would be great. Actually, show us. What we've got here is uh, some, just some normal mail which passes through the machine quite simply without any alarms going off. In these envelopes here we've got different things that could be uh, maybe bomb components or, or uh, articles that are likely to harm the person that opens the mail. For example, we've got here a small battery which could be used to power an incendiary device or something similar. If we place that in the centre of a group of normal envelopes and put it through the machine, you'll see the machine has an audible alarm to alert the user as to what's actually that there's something rather suspicious within one of those envelopes. When well, we're talking about um, an organisation the size of the DVLA, um, we've heard that they get anywhere in the region of 60,000 to 80,000 of pieces of mail a day. I mean, a machine like that isn't going to help, is it? No. Um, there's actually a range of machines uh, that companies like Neopost supply. Um, this is for obviously for people with a, a lot smaller mail rooms uh, and can be used quickly by one operator. There's obviously a range of this moving from these small machines detecting these metallic components, um, which incidentally don't alarm on things like paper clips and normal office stationery. Um, moving on then to X-ray machines, standalone small units, but where there's a screen. Um, Moving on then to the bigger versions, for example, like conveyors that, uh, that you normally see in obviously airport security. But larger organisations would be using some of those larger machines. In the last hour we've uh, learned a little bit more about um, these devices. We uh, understand that they uh, came in A5 style padded envelopes and some of the labels were handwritten, uh, some were printed. What should members of the public look out for? Um, well, with certain sort of parts of, uh, of mail then if something's sort of addressed to an individual and, and somebody gets a, a package in and they're a little bit suspicious um, as to the contents of that, then obviously if it's a named contact, they could be phoning the, the appropriate person to ask if they're expecting a package. Um, sort of small checks like that. Once they've spoken to that person and who's identified I'm expecting a certain delivery, then, then that, they'll know that that mail's safe. Um, the problem when people aren't using some sort of screening equipment um, is that a piece of mail could be received uh, and then what happens is they're suspicious of that item, then maybe a full evacuation uh, occurs at a huge cost to, to the business, whereas screening the item quite quickly will, will determine whether it's a uh, cause of suspicion or not. Simon Rothwell, you've uh, certainly put your case for screening this afternoon. Uh, thanks very much for demonstrating it uh, to us. Thank you. This is Sky News on our website, sky.com news. Who's behind